What's up Cities 2 fanatics, welcome back to Dev Talks. Today we're going to watch, react and break down the dev diary for maps and themes. My name is Flyvox, I'm here with Joy Build Cities and a very special guest. We have the German map maker on board, Sidai. Hi, welcome. Hello. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're super hyped for this one. This is your forte, maps and themes. And uh, Joy, how are you feeling about this one? I'm so excited. We have a guest with us that's going to be able to speak to this in a very different way than you and I would be able to, which I think is mm -hmm. needed for this reaction. But I'm also just so excited to learn more about the maps and themes and hopefully we get to see different maps. I don't know what we're about to watch so i'm just so excited <laughs> all right gang let's go let's just watch the video yeah let's go <laughs> it's easy to forget how much our day-to-day -day is shaped by where we live but how our world looks feels and changes that's the scene for our lived experience it's the same god for the beautiful already city. and in city skylines too the world is a whole lot bigger <laughs> You can now build on an area five times bigger than before. Oh my god. 159 square kilometers. One. That's bigger wow. than the whole oh, Look at that. Maps are composed of individual tiles. Oh, connect the tiles. them to create a sweeping urban jungle. Or don't connect to them to develop interesting little pockets of life. Oh, you can cool. only have 141 oh. tiles on each map, but you'll have nine to work with when you begin your city building. Reach milestones okay. to unlock more. When you do, <gasps> oh, look at the milestone menu! Serve your expansion plan. Before you click, preview the total buildable area, <laughs> what natural resources are available, and the cost of that tile. The expanded map inspires you to think big, but remember to think. Wow. Up. Height yeah. limits have increased too. The mountains to create nice. you to carve a city higher in the sky than ever before. Oh. Building on this scale also invites you to think outside Ooh. of the box, literally. Create connections to cities beyond the edge of your map to open up trade routes that can accelerate your city's growth. Okay. Before you select a map, <laughs> look at where look it's at the on the globe. No. Is it north or south of the equator? And which hemisphere is it in? Check out how much of the map can be built on. Which oh, the infos, yeah, oh and my less, god. If any, connections already exist to neighboring cities. I want cities. to play it now. <laughs> Found a map you like? Click and give your city a name. This is also your chance Natural to change disaster, the default theme if you want to. Mm -hmm. There are two themes, European and North American. Oh, I love that. Themes shape the look and feel of your city, from street markings to cop cars. The biggest difference is the architectural style of residential and commercial buildings. So beautiful. You can add buildings from the other theme when zoning your city. This That's lets epic. you pepper European buildings in your North American they look city. So real. And by yeah. the <laughs> little playground. No, the theme oh. you choose dominates the appearance <laughs> of your city, and it can't be changed later. There are 10 maps in the base game, each drawing inspiration from real world locations. You might even recognize them. And with the vast oh. area available on the new expanded maps, terrains are more varied, resources are more accessible, wow. and Beautiful there are shots. more ways to connect to other it's cities. A nice sunset. <laughs> You'll discover maps where life is lived on the sandy beaches of a sprawling archipelago. Maps that invite you to build at high There's altitudes snow. with a mountainside. There's snow. There's snow. Right, I just snow. saw it. Oh my god. River Delta. There might even oh, be a map that looks wow, like the Oh, wow, look at that river. Select the map that stirs your <gasps> imagination to set the stage oh, my for heart. life and living in the city oh. of your dreams. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they just cut us off again, just like that. Oh, my Lord. That's all. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was super amazing. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's 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 take a deep dive into this. <laughs> For sure. All right. So the cool thing is, of course, like the maps are what? Like roughly five times bigger than in Cities 1. That is like, I, I, uh, I think they're talking about the vanilla, like the nine tiles of Cities 1. The Cities 2 maps will be five times bigger than the vanilla maps in Cities 1. I don't know about 81 tiles, though, um, how that's going to be. Um, I, no, no, they said um, the, the tile is smaller, but the map is bigger as a whole. Right, right. 
And I love this little thing that we're seeing right here that the tiles do not have to be connected together. I think that yeah. is so cool. Already my mind is like going to so many places. I think that's <laughs> rad. Yeah, I'm could... just so excited. That's really like, epic. You can just create little already settlements. Already I'm like, oh. can I do a little tiny one tile challenge? Yes, I want to. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my God, a tiny tile challenge. I like that. A tiny I tile. Really like that. <laughs> I'm going to need mods and stuff for that. Like, But can you imagine the most adorable little cute stuff? But <laughs> look at this screen. The milestone. I just love the photo in the back is yeah. so cute. This one right here, the, the little graphic here, the tiny village, is so cool. So you can unlock more map tiles, of course, through milestone progression. So that's that's really cool as well. And I, I just love how this menu looks. Thriving metropolis, flourishing metropolis. Oh my god! I just realized this. These these, these are new. Ah, look at all that. There's a and lot. like small village, large village, grand village. I love this. Large city, this huge is... city. This is... <laughs> Oh, cool. oh my gosh, all the things. And you can, st oh wow. Yeah, that is so cool. Like, look at the size of this. Like, oh my God, this is the, this is New Dollarton, right? The uh, preview city that we've seen in a lot of footage so far. Look how small in air quotes it looks, right? Compared to the map. It really gives you a good perspective of what we're looking at starting playable area, yeah. I think. It's really nice to see the fact that we've been able to kind of be in this city for a while and experience it. Of course, we've seen some other cities in, in the footage as well, but then to get this kind of overhead view really gives you a good feel for it. Very cool. Uh, and the point with the independent tile unlocking, if you want to play on one of the small islands, you can uh, you don't need to uh, attach tiles to just unlock the the one island and then right go. yeah that's so cool so if you just want to build like over here you can uh -huh. you could do that all oh, right oh my god that opens up so many possibilities <laughs> it's so my mind good. is blown right now <laughs> my mind is blown <laughs> The thing that um, was interesting in the PDF is it said that the tiles need to be purchased on the edge of the map in order to create those outside connections. So I've never played with the map editor at all. Like I have no experience uh, with creating maps or any of that stuff. I love the idea that I will be able to make these outside connections for myself, but uh, I didn't realize that we're gonna have to like purchase these little tiles along the outside it does make sense um and that just creates another level to the game right that you would need to be able to afford to purchase those if you want to make an outside connection for like we've seen with like the power or the train lines and things like that so that's going to be really interesting i'm curious like that all as like a map maker does it make you more excited that this kind of functionality is up to the individual player and it's not something that you really have to worry about when potentially creating maps for city skylines 2 or does it feel like hey that's like part of my creativity in the map making like what's your perspective on that i'm so curious uh, that's a good question i think it's um it's good um stuff for the player to have uh, the tool to add uh, outside connections later if you want if you are terraf terraforming the map uh, and you think yeah there is missing some connections then you can add it for um, for yourself and don't need any mods or tools or something so i think it's 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 a good addition to the game to extend the tools the player uh, has in the base game yeah, yeah. For sure. Super cool. And while we're seeing all these mountains here on screen, it's like the, the they said that the height limit also is much, much higher than before, <laughs> which I don't know how that's going to turn out on actual maps and when you actually play the maps or like making maps. Right. So I, I guess that's that's also yeah. like a feature that's really really cool for map making itself yeah indeed uh, there was or there is um, a height limit in the in the city's uh, one maps of i think it was thousand meters so you can't um, extend 
mountains above that limit. And yeah, as you said, they, they uh, doubled or whatever um, rise the, the, the limit of this to some new value. Sadly, this set no particular number for mm -hmm. this. So we have to wait and see. But yeah, that's that's also a good uh, good one. So you can finally do some real mountain maps with uh, higher mountains and with realistic heights. <laughs> as we as we uh, we saw some snow before, so maybe it's uh, something. Yeah, there was the peak that we got of the mountains that had that like little pockets of snow. Yeah, I think it was towards yeah, the end of the so, video. That was so, so cool. cool. And also like it makes me think of I like to build cities for people and I like to build realistic cities, but there are creators out there that do some really fun fun stuff with city skylines. So if you can build taller mountains what kind of like um kind of challenge or kind of like those creative funny comical city skylines videos are we gonna get with being able to big <laughs> build higher mountains like that's gonna be interesting but also with being able to just purchase the small tiles like you were saying on the island you could build like a little mountain village somewhere which i think is so cool i mean the possibilities are endless i'm psyched <laughs> same here here we can get another look at the outside connections what we just talked about that you can just create your own on the map when you reach the edge of the map i'm i i kind of hope that this will change though like how this looks it's just like cutting off i don't know we had like the edge fog in cities one not sure if that's going to be a thing if that is turned off here for the visuals or something or just like kind of cut off here so i hope that that kind of gets changed into some form that doesn't look as cut off as it does here. Yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see. It, it looks a bit odd that the cars <laughs> and trains yeah. appear out of nowhere. <laughs> exactly. And here we got the new game screen. We have these maps plus bonus maps. It says right here with the little star pre-order to unlock Tempera map and San Francisco map included in the expansion pass. Neato. And that is Okay, Archipelago. I got a lot of heat for saying Archipelago on one of my videos. <laughs> so it's Archipelago, apparently. I'm sorry that I, if I have offended anyone. I'm really, really sorry. So Archipelago, <laughs> you get all these informations here. The theme, uh, of course, climate, latitude, the hemisphere, you do, the, oh my God. Also buildable area, just 16%. That's a small map. <laughs> I think this is kind of cool. The outside connections here, yeah, the last two are on all maps um, to have a power import and export and airports, uh, of course, or airways, of course, which we discussed this in one of the previous uh, Dev Diary videos, Joy, about the little lightning bowlers. Like, wait, there's power outside connection? We weren't sure what that means. But now, since the last one with electricity and water, we now know that we can export and import electricity. And that is the sign for that. So that is on all maps. And of course, the natural resources you also see those which i think is really again super super cool yeah i love that we're starting off with these maps and that there's even some extra ones you know that you can get and it looks like yeah. a good variety as well and in the pdf if you haven't looked at it go look at it because there's actual <laughs> photos of the maps there but yeah this is just I, I'm like, can I, I want to play now. I want to play now. <laughs> <laughs> I would love so as well, yeah. So this is pretty cool. You can, you can choose the map theme when you start between European and North American. And that is uh, one factor that cannot be changed later in the game, as well as if you choose a left hand or right hand traffic. But all of the other options that we see here that can be changed apparently also in the game. And I think that's really cool. Plus, we know that you can toggle uh, different themes on your zone buildings so that when you zone for instance, you have like a European themed map, but you could do North American buildings, which I think, again, is super cool. Adds much more variety to your cities. Yeah, also look at the right side on the climate and latitude options. Um, there is some um, temperature corridor. And also my, my guess is if uh, for the latitude that it's affecting the, the sun, the height of the sun over the horizon mm. and, and also shadow length and uh, maybe the 
the intensity of the of the lightning. Yeah, cool. we also, um, Joy, we also discussed or thought about maybe the temperatures. Like maybe we have seasonable seasonal maps that maybe only have like uh, two or three seasons, right? Or we we said like maybe this is like an indication of because we can see the span of the temperature as you just pointed out, Sedai, that like minus fifteen degrees Celsius. You know that can get pretty cold in the winter time, and it goes up to twenty six uh, degrees. So maybe there's some maps that don't go as high and they're kind of like staying in like the winter season right, maybe uh, a lot more two season or three season maps right Instead yeah of four seasons so that'll be interesting to to get more info on um, i think next week is our we're looking at seasons right so i think that's right we'll, right. we'll have some more definitive information yeah here we can see that again so the themes for the buildings of course for some service vehicles and street markings, traffic lights, and uh, even I think it said in the PDF that there is even going to be some public transportation stops that can be adjusted or customized with the themes, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look I at mean... this view. It's like, it's like so good. <laughs> yeah, the detail on the mountains are very good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're coming up on the snow covered one. This sunset is really, really good. And I wow. just love, I love the, oh, there's the snow. There's the I snow. I love the yeah. realism of the, the water as well in these maps. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. So like, Sadal, as like a map maker, were you totally um, psyched when you saw like what we've all seen with like how this water is looking and behaving being way more realistic than it has been did that get you pretty excited yeah the um, uh, the water in, uh, in cities one is um to 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 create a map with uh, good uh, flowing water is is a pain in the uh, you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i i hope in 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 the in, the, uh, in cities two it's a bit behaves a bit more realistic and uh, flowing you can uh, easier create uh, rivers with flowing water and also um, good looking lakes and small really small uh, streams yeah i hope so as well i hope mm -hmm. so as well because for me i've always struggled with water and i know i'm not the only person a lot of us have struggled with water in the game but I really struggle, so I think, you know, if that's a little bit easier, it allows for more creativity and, you know, oh, I'd like to put like a little tiny lake in this park and things like that could be, um, yeah, if it, I hope it's easier too. <laughs> but if not, we've got great map makers like you, so we can just <laughs> yeah, rely on you guys to make us really beautiful maps to play on as well, so. <laughs> yeah, I think we will make it work. <laughs> <laughs> nice so we can sit back and relax that's good to know it's comforting for sure yes yes <laughs> all right and that concludes the dev diary on maps and themes this was amazing i love the visuals in that overall i also love everything that we that was written in the pdf super super cool information that we got there sedai once again thank you so much for joining us and giving us some insights from a map maker's perspective thank you so much and if you want to stop by and feel a little bit of that city skylands one nostalgia there are some links in the description from sedai's steam workshop Highly recommend you check all of his stuff out. Very, very cool. And if you notice that we missed anything in this dev diary, please do let us know in the comments below. We love reading all of your comments. Thank you so much for that every week. We really appreciate it. Also, Joy and I run a joint Discord with three other amazing builders. Highly recommend you stop by. We're there on a regular base. We love to hang out and chat about our favorite city building simulation. We will catch you all next time. Sidai, you will be with us on the Dev Insights video. Video as well. Yes, I am Super excited for that. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and please stay safe out there. Bye bye.